basket right here. It's beautiful and well made. I just really didn't need another basket. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted. But looking back, I can see it's all clear. I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me. But nothing makes sense anymore. was the sweetest little set of vintage apple canisters just a, a complete set and they were very inexpensive so just adorable thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on 
Gotta stay here for some time My name is Jeannie. Welcome to my channel. Um, I went thrifting. Um, this is kind of like a week's worth of haul. I went twice and um, I got a few things that I really like. And I have a couple of things from 
Well, one thing from Antique Farmhouse that I wanted to show you, and I thought I had a decor stills thing, but I'm not sure. Um, I also have a Facebook Marketplace find. Let me show you that first, and then we'll go to the rest. Okay, so this is the first thing I found. It's a, they said it's a primitive, it's a primitive jelly cupboard is what she said. It was like a mustard color, and I used chalk paint, and very lightly chalk painted it. Um, and then I actually changed the knobs out. Here's a few of them here that I was playing with. I tried these, and they were okay after I took the the stuff to make them, you know, stand out more. These were on it originally, but they were mustard colored. So I'm thinking I'm liking these better. They actually came off an old, um, this is not panties, I promise. It's a piece of lace that was around something I just ordered. That's where the bag came from too. But um, this is um, the decorative pieces that were around it. And they, this was the centerpiece. And they kind of look like sunflowers right here. I don't know if you can, it's not focusing great, but anyways, they're really pretty. So, um, I have nothing in it right now, but it's really, really pretty. I like it. And, um, I had agreed and got her down to 40 bucks and she was so nice. We stood out there and talked and, um, it was funny cause, uh, I ended up giving her 45 anyways, cause she was just sweet and I liked her and she was a sing, you know, she was just a widow and you know, it was just nice to see her and talk to her. The other nice thing I got is this is recently I got it from Antique Farmhouse and it's the autumn saying so gathering s'mores you know just autumn so I thought it was really pr pretty and very neutral so I've gotten a couple of things off at Etsy lately um, and Macari this was off of Macari I got this and uh, there was something else I got with it too I don't really <coughs> recall it this month that I got and then I got these two um Roscoe shush baby let's go see somebody out there or squirrel torture name so I got this little rocky horse for like a song like three bucks and I got this big one that's supposed to be a wall hanging but I'm gonna paint it white I just <coughs> these country colors don't do it for me anymore so I'm gonna change it let me go let my puppy out because he's having a fit okay y'all it was a lizard that he's barking at he is the mighty lizard hunter and ignore this y'all I just took all my sunflowers out of here and but he's he's lizard hunting right now so <sighs> you see this bare spot where he has hunted lizards repeatedly so he's such a sweetie but he's uh, hunting lizards and I posted this on my reels on Instagram but I don't think I showed you guys um, I got these three little um, candlesticks black candlesticks at Hobby Lobby um, my husband and I made this I designed it and he made it so this is a uh, just a um, one by six and this is a one by eight I think on this one it's a little bit longer we used corbels that we already had and then we put the, um, the little hooks on it I bought the two pictures the horse pictures from Hobby Lobby as well. I just like them up there. Um, I had the pretty prayer bowl right here. I just think it's really pretty in the middle. And it doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. Um, these are, this is a, um, an antique camera, a little brownie camera right here that's um, right here. And then I have my little reproduction, like it was like a Kirkland thing from several years ago, but it's a scale, a faux scale, balanced scale. And I've got two antique or vintage um, butter molds on them. Now my other dog's gonna whine. Okay, now the other one's wanting to get back in. Oh my gosh, y'all. Three dogs is too many. I'm just saying. I love them, but it's too many. Um, this I had thrifted a while back. It's a stirrup. These are binoculars that I um, thrifted recently. Well, not too recently, but a while. And a shoe uh, mold. A couple of vintage Bibles and this kind of reminds me like of a trophy I was thinking like horse racing maybe I mean we live near Ocala Florida so that's it's kind of you know there's horses everywhere um, I've got some of my horse brushes in here horse hair brushes and a couple of, um, of the vintage um, 
register tags, but they're, you could use it for like, you know, I was kind of making it look like it was um, bedding on horses, you know, with the little paddle things. So um, a vintage um, dictionary and two more um, vintage Bibles. I got this today off of Macari. It was delivered today. It's just a wooden horse and he's so pretty. And this is just a little dough bowl with two of my um, horse hair brushes in front. I don't know if you recall, this is my husband's belt. Okay, so that doesn't really go in the picture, but this, I got this agricultural almanac from 1966 at the um, vintage market days of Jacksonville in the fall, and um, that's his birth year, so. Um, that's how I designed those shelves. That's what we did last week, and we, on Sunday, we built, and we, uh, I had already kind of designed them, and I was just gonna do the top one, and then I decided to do this one also because he likes to hang his hats because his stuff is here where he gets ready in the morning his medicines and his um, belt and his backpack with his laptop and everything so um, but I got these corbels off of um, what do you call it um, Amazon and then I you know we had these this leftover board from up here so I just used those but I really let me see if I can ooh, back up a little bit and show you um, how that turned out so I like the way it turned out it's something someplace else to put my decor and decoration so let me show you what I got at the thrift store and um, then I'll leave y'all alone but, um, I thank you guys for watching so much I really really enjoy doing this I didn't get many um, views on my home tour which is, is very unusual because that's usually my most popular um, um, videos but um anyway so i hope y'all enjoyed it anyways the ones that do watch my channel and um i enjoyed filming it because i got to kind of talk you through everything and i really enjoyed it so let me show you the rest of the stuff okay so i have the the um the puppy dog crate in here because daisy likes to be close to us but i bought this for the frame but it's a pretty um french um bistro in the picture it looks like downtown Paris or a little small town in um, France because it's in French. But um, this is a beautiful frame. I got it for the frame and the matting, and it was um, $4.99. I got it from the thrift store today. And um, the next thing I got was this beautiful fall, um, a beautiful fall uh, roadway. It's beautiful. It almost looks like um, Cade's Cove a little bit. But it's so pretty. I love the fall colors. So, um, I also found this. It's kind of dirty, so it's nothing. But it's just a, like a um, faux wooden. It's um, I don't know what it is. It's it's not resin, but it's pretty. It's it'll be nice for like on the back of the potty to hold toilet paper or, you know, something. Boy, my dogs are very vocal today. I got this last weekend when I went um, we went to antique stores and this was a dollar it's really pretty I really like that I think it's gorgeous I just thought this was unique I think it was a dollar it might have been five dollars but I think it was a dollar and these were each two dollars and fifty cents over and back from Japan is what it says but these were each two fifty. We went to um, two local antique shops. My husband's looking for a door to go on our front door to replace our front door with, and we've seen a few on Facebook Marketplace, but um, we keep looking. So, also got this sweet little purse from the Goodwill. It's so tiny, and it's still got the little thing in it, but it was like two ninety nine. I love the little tassels on it, and it'll look great on my little. Um, what do you call it? My little um, one of my one of my little mannequins. So I don't know why they call them mannequins because mine's are mine are girls. So I also got this and um, it was um, ninety nine cent, but it matches a couple of the bowls I have already. Speaking of bowls, I got these two and they're vintage. They're Johnson Brothers. It's um. A larger one and a smaller one and I like how they have these little um, see the design around they're so pretty you know forgive me I have my little um, my little leather moisturizer I was cleaning these bags right here so 
The last little bowl I got, this is handmade by Audrey Myth Arts 6. I don't know what that means, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's knobby. So pretty. I like it. So mm, this is what I had the leather cleaner out for because I clean. I got this cute little wallet for, and it's an Ann Taylor, which is great. And I think it was maybe $4.99, but it's, it's never been used. It's beautiful. It's in great shape. And then I got this little coach one for $4 and it's a little wristlet, but it's in great shape too. Um, it's hard to open it with that, but it's got the little C's all over it. And I haven't washed this one up yet. I wiped it off, but I need to wash it, wash it. Um, I don't think it'll hurt anything. I might just put it in some, you know, in the um, sink with some thieves or something, some thieves dish soap. I got this sack. It's called the sack. Y'all have heard of that. It's been around since forever. But I just thought this was really pretty. It's a great color, and it looks green on camera, but it is like a... Um, dark dark gray and the sweet little handle on it and the brass accents it's really pretty here's the sack and it has not you can tell it's not been used in here it's got um, pack, um, pockets and everything it's not been used so it's really pretty I think I got it for um, $4.99 it's really pretty I love the little brass accents on it also got this it I thought it was cute already for like putting silverware in, especially like if you're having like a picnic or going to the outside, we go outside and, you know, instead of like dropping them and stuff. And then I looked and it's um, creative co-op and I'm like, yeah, that was probably 40 bucks. So it's cute. It's very rustic looking. And I got two last things. Oh no, I got, I got a couple more things. I'm sorry. I got this cute, this was at the Goodwill. He charged me a dollar 99, but it's the, um, McGuffey's fifth eclectic reader these are really really old I had no idea they were so old I started looking through it and it's from 1907 was the latest copyright on it and, oh 1920 but it's just cool I don't, I don't understand it I'll have to look through it and try to read it a little bit but it's really pretty so um, I love the colors on it, red and that uh, mustardy color It'll be good in the in the navy. I just thought it was really pretty. And um, I've been looking for these. And look, they're like brand new. You can tell they haven't been worn. Um, got them for $6.99. But they're leather shoes. Those little slide-in um, harachis, I think they're called. But they're perfect. So I'm going to clean them up. Um, sanitize them first and then clean them with my leather cleaner. Because they're real leather, 100%. This darling little hat. And he charged me 99 cent for this because it wasn't marked. But I think it's just darling. I love the little straw hat. So, and this last thing, um, there's this price for 4.99 and 3.99. And unfortunately, I think um, I paid 4.99 instead of 3.99 because there's the 3.99 right there. But um, it's old. It says red rind, raw milk, and there's a pi picture of. Is that Michigan? No. Wait, does it have the glove? I think that's Wisconsin. I'm not sure, but it's got the state. I think it's Wisconsin, actually. But it's just one of those cheese boxes or milk box. I've never heard of a milk box, but I think it's a cheese box. But it's old. It's. Um, I need to sand it a little bit to get off these um, splinters so they don't drop in our hands. But And then the last thing I got... And it was from Etsy. I've ordered a couple from her already from Little Cahaba Junkin, Kayla Friday. I love her and Aunt Penny. If y'all haven't seen um, their channel, she has an Etsy shop that's called Little Cahaba Junkin. But she has a um, YouTube channel called Little Cahaba Junkin also. And they just did the Highway 127 yard sale and it was cute. So anyways, I ordered this shirt. Mm, gosh, it's been a couple of almost a month ago it's chippy rusty and weathered everything which describes me to a t all we need to do is put a sunflower on it and a wiener dog and and a jeep and it'll be me for sure so anyways um i got quite the loot and the this was two trips and um got didn't spend hardly anything but got some goodies so um 
I hope you guys are doing. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. I am still working on getting things cleaned out, and um, um, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm enjoying clearing things out and getting things, and just keeping the things I love. And I'm really, really enjoying that decluttering and um, organizing, and just just enjoying it. So. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and um, I'm sorry guys, I'm always in my uniform when I film, unless it's the weekend, but I get off work and I go to the, especially if it's been a stupid day, and today was, I went to the thrift store for like 10 minutes and got a couple great things, but um, had a good time, and you see where I put my Aunt Jemima or Mrs. Butterworth right there on my little hutch there, so um, it's my little decor thing right there, can you see it? So, anyways, I love doing that. Um, hope he's in the background. But y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. And um, we'll see you soon. Okay, happy thrifting. Bye. So, I forgot to show you there's these two things. I got this little tiny, it's like a miniature bench. Almost like a piano bench, but maybe a little shorter. It's handmade. It's wood. And um, it's got like a burlap cover with a little lace. It's probably used for somebody's wedding. But they had two of them, but one was a little bit different. But this one was much sturdier and much prettier. The other one was a little too decorative for me. And then I also got this um, box. It was just a wooden box like what silverware used to come in. The silverware set used to come in. And I um, attached these, I glued these... Um, feet on these little black uh, and I painted them black they were just this, the um, raw wood I need to add a little black to this but uh, this would be nice for storage for something I mean I obviously need to get the rest of the the uh, burgundy out because that was the liner I tried sanding it didn't work out I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it off maybe with a razor blade or something but anyways it turned out cute it'll be nice for a little I don't know, I may, may give it away or may sell it or may keep it. It's, it's kind of cute, though. So, um, I don't know. It would be really pretty with a um, decorative piece of molding up here, too. So, we'll see. But those are the last two things I got. So, this was um, $4.99, and that was $2.99, I think. I got this last weekend when we were at the antique shop. So, anyways, that's it. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.